So Jacob, how long of a drive down from Perrysburg? Up three out, two and a half, three hours. Okay, you didn't drive like a maniac then? Nope, did the speed limit, had someone else's kid in the car along with my kid, so we were careful. This morning or last night? This morning. This morning, so you guys, it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day. For you, but the clinic, you know, it's going pretty good, the combine as we call it, but uh, you guys have been, have you been to every one? Been to every one. And did you have to wrestle the trials? Yeah, Uriah wrestled the trials for the spot, and the kid I brought also wrestled the trials. Okay, so you've been to, this is your fifth event. Fifth event. You've had to do some driving. You were at your home for one of them, for Burnett Train. Correct. You weren't at the Hive, but you were at, we the, were at the barn. The barn, the mile. Okay, what do you think the biggest thing that your son Uriah has gotten out of this? Oh, I like the exposure of, like, all the other all the other coaches. Scotty Burnett is the greatest coach I could ever find for my kid, but to, like, to throw like a curveball and get him coached by someone else it's like amazing so i i try to go to all these special events just to give them a different look yeah when you can get carrie cole at you know oh, yeah. talking you know working with your kid and then you know dave habits a totally different look from him he wrestles you know he's a european bronze medalist Correct. and say finalist and then Obviously, Coach Flynn, they're working a lot on the mat. Yeah. Right? And then you had Ross Thatcher. You had Logan Steber. So, you guys got the, the, the gamut. Um, did you win the spot when you were on the team? Are you guys going to be on the team? Are you going to be at September 11th, the Battle of the Berg? Yes. He won the spot, and we we looked over the schedule. We should be at all the events. And then you have a home event, actually. We do have a Within home 10 event. minutes of your house. Correct. Right? And That's it's always a, a good one. The National Middle School Duels is a hammer event it's got a waiting list what's it like when something like that's in your backyard um it's exciting because we kind of btw kind of teams up and helps like set the mats up and stuff like that and it's just like there's crazy good kids there so like my kid gets beat up and it's like i like it it's a learning experience it makes them better what would you say to a parent who's considering to start basically getting there? It's like this is like the version of travel baseball, right? Correct. What would you say to a parent who's who's right on the edge of is my kid going to be elite? Are they going to be able to get a state title in high school? You know, compete for a state title in high school? What would you say to a parent who's on the edge right here with something like this? I'm all about throwing them to the wolves. You have to learn how to win, just like you have to learn how to lose. A lot of kids when they win these small tournaments, they don't know what it's like to lose. So then the crying starts. I went through that. So if you put them in and you get them wrestling really good kids, then you, you win some, you lose some, and you evolve your wrestling. You're not chasing around plastic trophies. You're, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. You're wrestling elite kids. You're getting better. You're getting better because none of it matters until you're older. So if you can evolve your wrestling year after year, that's all that matters. Experience. Experience. Whether you're getting the hand raised or not. Correct. Winning some helps, though. It keeps, Win, them, it keeps them engaged. Helps. It keeps them engaged. So. Yeah. All right. You guys got a big drive back. They're finishing up. You got anything else for me? I don't. Do you rock the shirt that I gave you? I do, and I have stickers all over of yours. Nice. Thank you for the time. Good luck to you guys. Safe travels. You too.